you're the voice of Cinema Sins on YouTube. That's correct. As yeah. well as one of the co-creators. Why aren't you doing the audiobook for this? Uh, I did the audiobook in 2015 when uh, I self-published, but it made me super anxious. So uh, I have depression and uh, anxiety, um, and I'm also more than 50% deaf. Um, so that's sort of where I came from in writing about disabled superheroes. Um, but being cooped up in an audio booth for hours at a time really spiked my anxiety. And so I came close to a couple of panic attacks. Uh, and it just seemed at the end of the day, uh, better for my own mental health to hire a professional who does these audiobooks for a living. And the guy we got to do the re-release and the sequel strings is fantastic. Really happy with, with what he did. I'm also, while I'm a narrator of a YouTube channel, not a professional voiceover actor. Um, I don't know that I'm very good at doing the voices and what have you. Um, so that was really, I, that was made with my own self-interest, uh, in mind. And, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that decision. So how do you manage that anxiety when you're doing it for cinema sounds? I do, uh, I manage anxiety in four main ways. Uh, I see a therapist regularly. Um, he's fantastic. He challenges me, um, keeps me on my toes. I take a medication. Um, the medication I'm on, I'm, I'm overly open about this stuff, by the way. So if I go too far, just let me know. Uh, uh, there's too much stigma about therapy and mental health medications. I take a drug called Pristique. Um, and my anxiety is basically fight or flight. Um, uh, my fight or flight response uh, goes off for no reason sometimes. So if untreated, I might be in the grocery store with a basket half full of items and just have to set it down and leave because my brain thinks I'm being attacked, even though I'm not. Um, so the medicine and the therapy do most of the work. And then I just have to make sure I eat healthy and exercise. Um, and you know, over three or four years since being diagnosed, it's, uh, it's done a lot to really help me. Um, so, and so this is pretty much around the time that the first Abel's came out that you were diagnosed. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was diagnosed because I was, I, I couldn't sleep. I'm laying in bed and my heart is pounding. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. And I think it's probably both doubly connected to the YouTube channel and the success we were having and the pressures I felt there. And then, you know, putting a fictional story that I had written out there into the world to be judged. Uh, so I went to my MD and said, uh, I got a heart problem. And she started asking all these questions. She's like, no, you have anxiety. And uh, that was that was the beginning of my anxiety journey. And I've, now I've written it in to the sequel where my main character, Philip, is dealing with PTSD um, from the events of the first book. And he's seeing a therapist and talks casually about it, trying to, again, do what I can to destigmatize that stuff. And so coming from a small town, did you, did like uh, imposter syndrome play a role into this? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. No, like, like I got, I don't deserve to be here. Is that what right? I mean? Yeah. There's certainly some of that. Um, you know, I'm a preacher's kid too. So there was a lot of my upbringing that was about me. <laughs> In, in a very loving way, making sure I understood everybody else is as important as I am. I'm not special. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I think there's a certain amount of that. When the YouTube channel took off, it didn't feel real. Um, we didn't quit our jobs until we actually got a check from YouTube because we didn't think it was going to happen. Um, and yeah, you know, you look at 8 million subscribers on YouTube or however many books we sold. And I think anybody with a level head would feel some measure of, do I deserve this? Um, and then, you know, there's a healthy way to process that and realize, you know, maybe I got a little bit lucky, but I worked hard. Um, and you know, I wrote these books, so I can be proud of that. <laughs>